Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you a couple of games that I put together using Tangrams. Now I don't have Tangrams. Uh, there are shapes like this ones, just different shapes. Um, they come like this, like plastic ones or wooden one. I'm sure a lot of you already know Tangrams. Uh, but instead of buying them, I decided to go online and look for some principles. So I typed in Tangram uh, principles and I found quite a few. I picked the best one. I think I picked the one like this. And then I printed it out um, in cardstock paper. I choose a color or you can do white. And I laminated it. And here it is. Let me, hold on, I have it upside down because I was already recording it before and I had to record it again. <laughs> so this is what I came out with. And it just so happened that it fits perfectly in this little wooden tray that I had. Um, so then I went ahead and I printed another one and this one I did cut it out. I laminated it and then I cut it out. And this game will have maybe three levels. If you can think of the fourth one, they are awesome, but I just thought of three. Um, so first level will be just matching up the, the pieces like that. Just match all the pieces. Second level, or level two, will be having this um, turned over. Now, if you don't have the tray like I do, then just put it, do it on the table, it doesn't matter. And then the child has to figure it out where the pieces go like that without having the control arrow on the bottom, you know, with the lines, without having the guide. So this is like a logic puzzle for them. So that will be in the level two. Now level three will be just using this and pick more puzzles. So I went online and I, I typed in, this is what I typed in, um, Tangram Puzzles and Solutions. And back when I was doing the, when I was making this game, which was like two, maybe three weeks ago, I don't remember now, I, I didn't find these two. Had I found those two, then I would have used them because those were exactly what I was looking for. Like the puzzle, exactly with little grids, like in like little cards, then we'll just laminate them and cut them out into little cards. Or you can leave it like that and then the child will just go, you know, I'll do this one and then this one, this one, this one. And here's the solution right there with colorful colorful ones but I didn't find those when I looked when I looked for uh, puzzles and solutions so all I could find well you know a lot of them as you can see there are many but I wanted to find one with many uh, puzzles in the, in the same page and I found this one so this will be the solution actually and right here is the puzzle so the child will have to match the shapes to that puzzle will be like level two or this will be the level one matching the tangrams to the solution because you can see the shapes on that. So I printed those two out and oops excuse me. I made I made a grid on cardstock and then I cut out the pieces and I glued them in the middle as you can see. Um, I cut out the little cards and then I put them in a laminating pouch as you can see so I can have a laminated all around it like all the edge um, and then I did the same with the other one with the black ones initially my thought was to you know have a little card stuck and then glue the solution on one side and then glue the puzzle on the other side so it will look something like this like the puzzle on one side and the solution on the other side um, so that the child would have to kind of recreate that with the shapes you know trying to recreate it you know do in any way that he thinks the shape is supposed to go and if he can't figure it out then he can just flip it over or if he already figured it out, he has to make sure that he did it right. Then he just flip it over and confirm how to solve the puzzle. But I decided to leave them separated because I wanted to create another game, which will be the next one. Uh, and it's just shadow matching. So you grab the pieces. As you can see, there are easy ones. 
the easy ones are on the bottom. They're just shapes, like random shapes. And then you have some animals and people. So you can start with some shapes if you want. You can put them on one side. You can do more if you want to, like five or 10, whatever you want. And then find this car the corresponding one here for your child so he doesn't have to do it. Okay, let's pretend this one is a rectangle, okay? <laughs> and then the child will have to go and find the match. Excuse for the glare, it's hard to see, right? You have to find the match. So you can do more, you can do less, you can mix the animals with the people, with the shapes. You have many, many, many different ones you can see. They're all in here, they're all the same ones. Um, and then I also went and I print, I shrinked the 10 gram. So this, I put it on a soft word. I think I used word and I shrink that. So I have smaller pieces and I did the same thing. I printed them out in different color cardstock. I laminated them and then I cut them out. So you have a lot of 10 gram pieces in here. And your child can use these pieces to create these puzzles or he can make uh, her own uh, his own puzzle one. My daughter does that. She likes to create her own little puzzle because she already knows how to make this one. Um, she's still working with these. So she's just making her own little puzzle in here. And that's just like, it's like a free play for her. Um, and I have this on hand so she can come and grab it anytime she wants to. Now she can create a little kite <laughs> or whatever. You can make a little house. There are many, many things you can do with these tangrams. She just have fun playing with these pieces. So this is what I wanted to share with you all. I hope that you like the ideas. I'm, I'm sure there are a lot more ideas and games you can do with these pieces. Um, you can create your own puzzles. You don't have to find principles online. Just print this out. Only print this out and then make your own little puzzles and piece of paper. Uh, you can do whatever you want. These are really nice. I really like them. Um, so anyways, I hope that you like this video and that you give it a try. Thanks a lot for watching guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.